everybody, welcome to my weekly vlog. It's Sarah Hutchinson at yogabeyondtheposes.com and I am here in windy Providence, Rhode Island, en route between New York City and the great state of Maine. Uh, my brother, my soul, soul sibling, lives in Rhode Island and he just dropped me off at the train station. This is the Rhode Island State House in the background. It's a really beautiful building. And on the very top of it in gold is Roger Williams, the founder of Providence and Plymouth Plantations, turned out to be the state of Rhode Island. He's a bit of a hero of mine. He came over from England in defiance of the church's strength in culture. And he came with uh, the rest of the people who came to the New World so they could have religious freedom. And Roger Williams found when he got here that the way the Commonwealth was being organized did not include enough religious or spiritual freedom for him, he befriended the local indigenous people. And when he was cast out of the Puritan community, they came for him in the night. He had had the heads up and had escaped and went to live with the indigenous people, and eventually came to the head of Narragansett Bay and settled here, and the rest is history. So there he is, one of my heroes, because he recognized other ways of doing thing in a, cult, in a culture that was too constricted. It wasn't expanded enough for him. And I just want to quickly talk for just a few more minutes here. This will be a short one because my train's going to leave about what's going on in mainstream culture right now, health-wise. You've been hearing me speak into this for the last few weeks. And I just wanted to say, having been in New York City for four days, which is delightful, seeing the lifestyle, being with people. And again, there I'm sure there are many healthy people there. But what I discover when I come out into mainstream culture is that the values are really based around consumption, overdoing it, and then becoming inert. So there's not that middle place. This is why we're inflamed. Our minds are overwhelmed. Our bodies are typically overwhelmed with too much food, too much to do, too much stress. We release stress hormones. We end up in a state of chronic inflammation. And then we find what we're finding in ourselves and others. Chronic disease, autoimmune, cancers, etc., etc. So we can't, you know, like Roger Williams, he decided he couldn't look to mainstream culture for the way that he wanted to live. Because his values were different. I feel the same way. And that's why I'm back here in the virtual space to share with you. I'm designing an upcoming program around this. Uh, I think I'm going to call it Find Your Way, because we each have our own unique way of finding ourselves in a complex and overwhelming time. We each have our own unique way of finding health practices that suit us, because we're each built a little differently in our minds and in our bodies. So that's my message this week is, you know, there are people who've gone before us who have said the values in mainstream culture, they're not good. In fact, we're in the grip of that now, aren't we? Racially, et cetera. I'm here to represent that as far as your health of your mind and your body goes. Which is if you're looking to mainstream culture for cueing, you may already be sick, and if you're not likely to be sick for really good reasons. We can talk about that another time. So just, you know, here I've got Roger Williams on the top of my head. You know, a guy that said, there's a different way to do things. I value community and life in a different way than the rest of everybody. And that's a little bit like what we're about at Yoga Beyond the Poses. We're a little countercultural because that's what you have to be to be healthy in these, this day and age. So stay tuned for more and bye from New England. I'll be back next week after my experience up in the mountains of Maine with a group of women coming together for the Her Festival. Uh, take good care.